Hello everybody, in today's uh, tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to install this uh, FlexFit Trio hard drive bay. It comes with, um, you're able to put two, two and a half inch uh, hard drives, or two, two and a half inch SSDs, and one, three and a 3.5 uh, inch hard drive in there like this so one of these and uh, two of these two uh, 2.5 inch hard drives or SSDs whatever you want I'm just gonna take this out of the box show you how this looks like whoops this is how this kit looks like so it came with that some instructions on how to put it in that shows you how to put it in but I, today I will be showing you how to put that in so the tools you need for this big to uh, do this would be a uh, a Phillips head screwdriver like this and that's all you really need just gonna take the drive base screws out I'm gonna use these black screws get a pair of scissors or something cut this Cut this open. So before you start, um, I'm going to be installing this into my Dell Precision T3500 computer. The reason why I'm going to do that is because this computer only has two. Uh, three and a half inch drive bays and I want to kind of like expand that and add another hard drive so first to, to start you just wiggle this out get it out it's supposed to be taken out like that the next thing is I want to install the hard drive in into this bay first so it goes in this way you just put it in from the front just like that and See that piece that I took out? Put it upside down and don't. Uh... Whoops, I screwed up. Sorry about that. Take the hard drive back out. So it's, it's supposed to go this way. See, this is the drive right here. This is the drive here. It's supposed to go in this way like that. Upside down. push it in all the way it's a bit finicky just get it in straight like that just push it in and then the next thing you want to do is put that uh, dust cover on here Make sure you give it enough room. Put it in just like that. And, uh, you're going to have access to a screw right here. And you want to take that screw the Phillips head and put it in through that thing and screw it on so you can fasten it. Let's 
secure the drive in place. I'm gonna do that with both sides. Got one side, now I'm gonna get this side. The screw. Whoops. See that? I'm gonna put it upside down. Don't put the screw in too tight. Just make sure it's firmly in there, just like that. Don't over tighten the screws. It's never good to do that. Now I'm gonna fasten this. It's nice and firm. Okay, that's excellent. That's good. The next thing is I want to put the two and a half inch drive bay. And you could put two of them as you can see. You could put one there and one there. So I'm gonna put it right here. And there's this little thing here that you just push in to get it in. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna push that in. I'm gonna push down with this and then push right in to get the drive in till you hear that snapping sound so now this is securely in place and to get the drive out you just push that in to release the drive so you can get it out anytime if you have a problem with this and then I'm gonna put it back in again to push down on that with the drive and push right in. You could do that with either side. This is a pretty clever thing that they did there. So now my drive bay is ready to be installed onto my computer.